thousand tongues, it still won't be enough. You say, Let's say it again, let's say it again. Lord, you've done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. You say, If I had 10,000 tongues, it still won't be enough. You say, When you heal, you heal completely. We say to Kumaro be more. You say now. Everybody, what shall I render to Jehovah?
never defeated. This is a house. It's a house of miracles and wonders. He's a mighty good God. Let me just greet my parents. Boy, he's a good, good God. Yeah. Whoa. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Listen to this. Of the range. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. Oh God. Oh yeah. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. Number one. Numero uno. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. 
of the race. That's my God. I will listen to the Lord. Love you, Lord. Yeah. Come on, let me see some movement in the house of God. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, oh. yeah. Whoa. Ah, oh. Come on, wave to the Lord. Wave them away, those problems and those troubles. It's over for you, devil. Yeah. I say bye-bye to your masterless actions.
I believe. I believe. Yes, I believe. For Jesus, I know. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Now wave to the Lord. So long, bye bye. Oh, so long, bye bye. Goodbye to my Sora. Goodbye, Pei. You ain't welcome here. Papa. Goodbye, Shane. Papa. You ain't welcome here. Papa. Goodbye to my Sora. Goodbye to my Pei. Goodbye to my travel. Papa. Goodbye to my travel. Papa. Goodbye, Shane. Papa. You ain't welcome here. Papa. Goodbye, Shane. Papa. You ain't welcome here. Jesus I know I, I, I don't believe you come on if you believe put your hands together and give God a praise in the house it is more like it but I'm still not convinced can somebody today give our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a Holy Ghost crazy noise up in here hallelujah glory to the mighty God Melissa Rodney, what an occasion. What an opportunity to be in the house of the Lord this morning. My bishop, I tell you, there's no better place than the altar of AMI. Can we give God praise for an altar that is unprecedented, that is second to none? And you know, the Lord was just speaking to me just now. We said bye-bye. We now say hello to not just people here in Santon, we say peep, we say hello to AMI connectors all over the world. All over the sure world. Yes. And they are multiplied millions Hallelujah. that connect Praise to this God. powerful altar. Praise God. All nations almost are represented here. Can I just see by way of hand who is here who is not from South Africa? 
if you have come from outside South Africa. Let me see your hand. Wow. We love you. Wow. We Indeed, you. Minister Rodney, we are conquering the world for Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. And we have been doing this for 17. Good. Hey. Yes. Hey. 17 years. Hey. Do I hear celebration in the Woo. house? 17 years. Oh you know, our Moses. Amen. Our Moses. You know, the Bible talks about Jesus as being the New Testament Moses. I dare say, mm -hmm. you know, we revere our man of God because our man of God, you know, that when he stands on this altar, he says two things. He says, number one, he says, my name is Alf Lukau. Mm. Mm. And then the second thing that he says powerfully, which has transformed my life as a minister. Come on now. I am a spirit. Woo. And I say to you this morning, if you could say like our father says, I am a spirit, it will revolutionize your life. Like the ministry of our Moses is revolutionizing the lives of men and women all over the world. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for our Moses, our leader, the one who stretched his hand. Woo! The one who says, when I stretch my hand, it's like God stretching his hand. Towards you, Amen. our Moses. Amen. My Pray, bishop. Praise the name of the Lord. Can Amen. we just, in the same breath, just put our hands together and honor the First Lady of Hallelujah Ministries Whoa. International, Whoa. our spiritual mother, Bishop Celeste Lucao. Come on, family. Amen. Put we your hands together for you. your mother. Hallelujah. But, Minister, I cannot help but go back to the fact that today, the 20 4th of February 2019 marks exactly day for day 17 years that Hallelujah Ministries International was founded and launched by our man of God, our Moses Apostle Avlokal. If you are a mic, can I see your sign of victory? Come on, come on, come on. Can I see your sign of victory? 17 years we are still standing we're not a fly by night God indeed called our man of God and gave him a vision and we are still celebrating that vision 17 years later Amen. one more time put your hands together for the 17th anniversary of hallelujah ministries international my bishop I have to say the Lord ministered to me this this morning and I'm in sync mm -hmm. with our mother, the first lady of the house, that spoke this morning about prevailing. And when I looked at my Bible this morning, when the Lord ministered to me, my bishop, mm -hmm. there was Moses that said to Joshua, you go and fight. I'm going to go up onto the mountain. Aaron and her went up with Moses. And there was a time when the hands of Moses were up, we prevailed, Joshua prevailed, but then there was the hand of Moses that grew weary and tired, but then there was Aaron and her right. that lifted up That's the right. hands of Moses. Right. I want to ask you this morning, how many ministries of Aaron and her do we have in the house? I speak to you all over the world. How many ministries of Aaron and her that we, do we have that will dare to lift up the hands of our Moses. I want you to do something prophetically this morning. I want you to lift up your sign of victory. I want you to take it down and say, Lord, this morning I'm here not to just receive. I'm here to lift up the hands of my Moses. Can we lift it up? Oh, yes. Can we lift it up? Can we lift it up? Can we keep it raised up this morning? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. We and I believe that as we do that this morning, I see a vision. If my dad is on his knees, I see him being elevated. Woo. If my daddy is sitting down, I see him being lifted up supernaturally. Amen. Because the spirit of this house will reach him as we pray for our Moses. Praise be the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Don't we all just Hallelujah. love our daddy? Hallelujah. But on a special note, Minister Rodney, I just want to take a moment and welcome all those who are here this morning. Whether you are a bishop, whether you are an apostle, a prophet, 
a teacher, a pastor, whether you're an elder, an AMI 12 leader, whether you are just Mr. or Miss or Mrs. somebody, but you are here determined to take your miracle home with you, you are welcome in Hallelujah Ministries International. This is the house where God dwells. This is the house where the Bible comes alive. Oh, yeah. And we want to welcome you all over this auditorium. And if you're watching us this morning by way of television, whether you're watching us also through YouTube or Facebook, you are more than welcome this morning. And you may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God. Amen. At AMI, Hallelujah Ministries International, every service is no different. When we have the pleasure of having first-time visitors come to connect with us. I'd like to ask you to take a bold step this morning. If you are here visiting us for the very first time, won't you just in all of your radiance and glory, just rise, stand up where you are, and we want to give you the best... Wow. round of applause wow. that we can give all over the world wow. i see flags from different countries wave it wow. wave your flags you are here representing your country we bless you this morning and if you're watching us for the very first time via social media we say to you that this is not by accident that you are shifting channels it is a divine appointment and this will be the best viewing that you'll ever have Absolutely. on social media. May Absolutely. The Lord bless Th you. Those who are here for the first time, there is uh, a form that is being given to you right now by our ushers. Please take the time to fill that form. We need those details to be able to keep in contact with you. We just don't want, you know, a one-time visit. We want a relationship with you. So please allow us to have those details. Drop it in the offering basket when the time comes. And if you're still not ready, after the service, make sure you see a pastor or a minister and, or even an usher and give them the form so that we can keep contact with you. You are more than welcome in the house of the Lord. And at this point in time, we want you to watch the screens for our announcements. The AMI program is as follows. Alleluia Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You can also join us for fellowship for our Sunday services. Our morning glory service starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. And lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Pastor Elf is on Soweto TV, channel 251, every Sunday evening from 6 p.m. until 6.30 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. For settings, please visit the website www.amitv.com. You can also find settings on our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. We have exciting news. You can now catch Pastor Arf Lukau on Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. The Man of God is also on TV Africa and Ghana every Saturdays from 5 p.m. and every Sunday from 4.30 p.m. You can follow our Man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. It is now time for our offering. Help me welcome onto stage Bishop Mziligasi Kumalo. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It is my honor and privilege this morning to receive the offering. On behalf of the General Overseer, your father, the prophet Alf Lukau. If there's anybody here who has that tithe with them, if you have your tithe, if you have your thanksgiving offering, if you have any pledge to redeem, I want you to rise up onto your feet and I want you to come to the front. If you have your tithe, 
if you have your thanksgiving offering if you have any special seed that you've prepared i want you to come to the front those of you that are joining us from around the world if you've already sent your tithe or your first fruit or your thanksgiving offering i want you to rise up onto your feet wherever you are and connect with this moment come quickly glory be to god As we wait for them to come, let me just say this to you. Today is the birthday of Hallelujah Ministries International. 17 years ago, this ministry was birthed. If that day had not come, you and I would not be meeting in this manner. You and I would not be meeting in this level of glory. I want you to know that as you sow your seed today, you're sowing it into the very foundations of this ministry. As you sow today, you're sowing into the very fountain of the anointing of the house. Therefore, I say, Hallelujah Ministries, you are blessed. May the foundations of your finances be established today in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, they're not listening this side. Let me speak to those on this side. I said today, the foundations of your finances are being established in the mighty name of Jesus. Never shall you fall again in your finances. You are established, you'll go higher in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Come quickly. No med modeling. Ashes, please help them the space on that side. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I want you to lift up your tithes before the Lord. Those of you that are still coming, just the power of God will meet you right there in the aisle as you come through. Lift it up high unto God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you glory and I give you praise, O oh God. Lord Almighty Father, as I stand in the pulpit of my Father, your servant, the prophet of Lukau, O God, whom 17 years ago, O God, you gave the vision to conquer the world for you, Jesus Christ, O Father. Lord Almighty Jehovah, as the sons and daughters have lifted up their tithe unto you, O God, lifted up the first fruit unto you, O God, Lifted up the special offering unto you, O Father. Lord Almighty Jehovah, may the foundations of the finances be established, O God, in this day in the mighty name of Jesus. May they tap into the very fountain of the anointing of this house, O God. Lord, I decree and I declare over their lives, Almighty Father, that they shall never go down, O oh God. Never shall the finances go down, O oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for they have sowed into the foundation of this house, O oh God. Lord Almighty Jehovah, open up the windows of heaven. Pour the blessing over their lives such that they cannot contain, O oh God. Rebuke the devourer for their sake, Almighty Jehovah. Let there be such abundance in their lives, Almighty Father, that it lasts until the next harvest. They will have to move it out of the way, O oh God, because more is coming in, O oh Father. Lord Almighty Father, I decree it so it is established in the mighty name of Jesus. And only to you, O oh God, be all the praise. And only to you be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. You may drop it in the altar and return to your seats. 
You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed in everything your hand finds to do. Every channel that the Lord is using to bless your life, oh God. It will expand and it will come like the gushing out of water out of the rock, oh God. Lord Almighty Father, I lift up your sons and daughters that may be walking through a desert right now, oh God. Lord Almighty Jehovah, make the bitter water sweet, oh God. Lord, bring it out from a rock, oh Father. Lord, bring quails, oh God, to rain down heavenly meat over their lives, Almighty Jehovah. Lord Almighty Father, let every word that they speak over their finances be established, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And only to you be all the glory and all the praise, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Just drop your offering and return to your seats. There's no need to be praying at this point. Glory be to God. Reke zobroshiha. Mande koto rabababa zihandeha. Please return to your seats to give others an opportunity to drop the offering. Please do not kneel in the altar. Please move so that others may drop their offering. Thank you, Jesus. Rabasikataya. We give you glory, O oh God. We give you praise, Jehovah. Glory be to God. Zehandi kata rabras broshaha. Manda kata tata yande lele zata rabrosia. Ibondi kata yande kata rabas broshaha. Mande bras brosi kata yande. Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise, O oh Father. Lord, you're doing a new thing in somebody's life today, O oh God. You're doing a new thing in the finances, O oh God. I give you glory, O oh God, and I give you praise. Wherever you are, I want you to take out your offering right now. Take out your offering. Take out a worthy offering of the foundations of this house. I have a word that I want to declare over your life. Take out your offering. Lift it up unto the Lord. Lift it up high. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty Jehovah, God of my Father, of Lukau, O oh God, I call on you, O oh God, do something in the life of every giver right now, O oh Father, with their offering lifted up to you, O oh Jehovah. Lord Almighty Father, as we celebrate the birthday of this great ministry, O oh Father, Birth a new thing in the finances, O oh God. Birth a new millionaire, O oh God. Birth a new multi-millionaire, O oh God. Birth a billionaire, O oh God, in our presence, O oh Father. Lord, this is the year of the overflow, O oh God. Lord, do something you have never done before, O oh Father, in our finances, O oh God. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, O oh God. It has not even entered our comprehension, O oh Father, what you are doing in this moment, O oh Father. Lord, as somebody catches this word, O oh Father, let it work through them, O oh God, and produce an uncommon testimony, O oh God. Lord, only to you, O oh Jehovah, be all the praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You may give.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I have a 14 year old daughter. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am. Um, it might shock some of you. 14 year old is the last born. So you can work it out, right? And part of the challenge that I have with her is that the things she's talking about and the world that I have in my head are two completely different. In fact, it's almost like I am here and there's a whole lot of other worlds in between and then she is there. So she will say something to me and I'll think she's saying X and I try and respond to it and she'll just roll her eyes and walk away like old man <laughs> you just don't get it so in October last year a young gentleman came to me and asked me if I would write the foreword for his book and I thought this is strange because he's kind of the same age as my daughter. So I took the book because if you're going to write a foreword, you need to understand something about the book and something about the author. And when I read the book, I got a little window into what was going on in my daughter's head. The things I thought were foolishness, I suddenly realized were powerful creativity. And the things that I thought were obstacles, I suddenly realized that there were simply challenges and hurdles that were strengthening her. This book has got tools that every young person should have. These are tools that even as a parent you can learn from in terms of how to raise your own children and begin to bridge the gap between what is going on in your head and the reality that is in their minds. It has tools that are Bible-based that will be able to emancipate your children so that they may grow up in the Word of God without you beating them over the head with a verse from the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, disciples, leaders, sons and daughters of Alf Lucal, I present to you the book written by the son of the prophet himself, A.J. Lukao. I want you to focus your eyes on the screen and watch this video. Born in Johannesburg, South Africa, on the 28th of October 2003, A.J. Lukau is a young, self-driven individual with wisdom beyond his age. Having completed his primary schooling at Crawford School in Santon, A.J. is currently doing his secondary schooling and has aspirations of becoming a business mogul. In addition to celebrating many academic and sporting achievements, A.J. is a dedicated child of God. He is regarded as a trendsetter and an inspiring leader among his peers. I'm AJ Lukau and I'm 15 years old. I love playing sports, golf, cricket, hockey, basketball. I love reading self-help books, uh, action books, adventure books, and I love hanging out with my friends. That's my hobby. Be You, Be Cool, The Ultimate Teenage Guide is a self-help book directed at today's youth. However, the book is written with such maturity that it is also suitable for readers of all ages seeking to improve themselves. The motivation part is when I help you to change how you see yourself, and I help you to change to become the best you you could ever be. Although my book is aimed um, towards young people, I feel some of the techniques that I use and some of the 
topics that I speak about can apply to all the people today. And I believe that as a teenager, you have problems and if you don't fix them right then and there, then the problems progress and the techniques that I talk about and the methods and the ways that I use uh, help you from any age. AJ's love for literature and art is poured into this first book, the depth and wisdom of which has impressed his academic and spiritual guides. AJ is very fun, he's very loving, he's very playful, he's very hardworking, he's a very caring human being, he's very diligent and very conscientious. When I found out he's writing a book, it didn't necessarily come as a surprise. Every time I would come to a lesson, he'd have a new plan up on his whiteboard with different things that he was planning in his book, with his new chapters, and I just slowly saw this book coming together. AJ's father, Alf Lucal, is his mentor and role model, shaping who he has become as a young man. My first mentor is my dad. My dad is basically a hard worker. My dad is always working. He's always pushing himself to the limit and always achieving. He taught me how to work, how to get down, and how to play later. And my other mentor is my dear uncle, Anwabo. He's mentoring me in investing and business, especially in real estate, of which I want to go into. I want to become a real estate mogul and an investor. And he's been taking me uh, step by step along the way and helping me go into deals and <laughs> it's been a really long ride. His ability to address the most difficult matters in a subtle and witty manner brings a sense of comfort and ease to discussions about bullying, dealing with loss and understanding God, among other things. Seeing a lot of teenagers suffering with problems that could be fixed like self-confidence problems and self-esteem problems and seeing people being bullied and older people saying, oh, just go and tell someone. Whereas as a teenager, from a teenager's perspective, going to do that might not be easy. So I'm trying to help someone and give someone many options to get out of their problems and hopefully they could become the person that they were always meant to be. Addressing the key fundamentals to a life of excellence, AJ manages to capture the reader from the very first chapter with principles of hard work, self-discipline and motivation. I believe that talent is overrated and I believe that hard work pays off. Every single day that you wake up is another day and another way to get an opportunity to become the best, the greatest, the GOAT. This book is highly recommended for teenagers, parents, young adults, teachers, or anyone who engages with teenagers and young adults day to day. If success is the aim, this book is the tool. Hurry and get yourself a copy from the AMI Bookstore. And for further selling points, visit ajlucao.com. Hallelujah. All my kids have a copy of this book, and I have an autographed copy myself because I know one day that book will be worth a lot of money. Glory be to God. The book is on sale right there in the front in the foyer, and it's also on sale in the basement. Please get yourself a copy of this book for yourself, for your family, for your children. Read it yourself. It will really open your mind, and it will help you to become a better person, period. Thank you, and God bless you. Glory be to God. and see what the Lord has done. He has destroyed the works of Satan. He defeated sicknesses and poverty by laying down his life on Calvary. Just take a look at where he has taken us from 17 years ago, from our very own Sudasi to Gaston Bernard, from Gaston Bernard to Jack Andrew Bernard. And if you check well enough, you will find Pastor Alf Lukau from Alf Lukau to you and I to empty hell and fill heaven. God has chosen a Moses for a Joshua generation and a time such as this.
God is about to show up in such a way that if you're not sure, you wonder, is this God? I am smelling the prophetic today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we are I say ready. I am smelling the prophetic in this place. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. is a close destiny. Today is my day. Today is my day.
Hallelujah. Can you all rise, church? As we begin this moment in the presence of the mighty God. He is Lord. He is God. He is mighty. And He is worthy to be praised. We bless Him and we bless His holy name. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. I surrender all to you. Take all the pain. 
Give myself away. Give myself away. 